What is a rational expression? It is a quotient of two polynomials. For example, we have 3x minus 2 divided by x plus 1, or we have 2x squared plus x minus 3 as a numerator, and we have x cubed minus 1 as the denominator. It is a quotient of two polynomials, and a polynomial consists of one or more terms with a real number coefficient. So this coefficient of 2 could also be a fraction or a decimal number, or it could even be the square root of 2. And a whole number exponent. So these exponents can be whole numbers such as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And in this case, we have the exponent 2. But this could be cubic. It could be exponent 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, etc. But no decimals, no fractions, no radicals. Technically, the constant 3 involves an x to the exponent 0 because x to the 0 is 1. So there's a lot of different rational expressions. So another example of a rational expression is 1 over x. Technically, even though this is only one term, we can consider this to be a monomial or even a polynomial, even though the word poly means many. So this is also a rational expression. Do we have a rational function? And the answer is no, because 3 over x is the same thing as 3 times x to the negative 1. And the definition of rational function involves x's with whole numbers, and negative 1 is not a whole number. It is an integer, but it's not a whole number. Do we have a rational function here? And the answer is yes, because the coefficients of the variable t are all real numbers. Root 2 is a real number, so is pi, so is the fraction 1 over 2.1. And this here, e to the pi, is just a constant. The exponents are all whole numbers. Whole numbers includes the number 0, 1, 2, 3. And here the exponent is 5 and 3. So this indeed is a rational function. Let's simplify this rational expression by factoring. Focusing on the numerator, we'll pull out a GCF. We pull out the 3. So we have x minus 2. Because when we use distribution, we get the same result on top. As for the bottom, let's use trinomial factoring. We have 2x times x is 2x squared. And what times what becomes negative 10? Let's try 5 and 2. And we'll put the plus sign here and the minus sign here. Through trial and error, we have negative 4x plus 5x indeed is positive 1x. So this is correct. And now x minus 2, they cancel. And so we have the simplified form. We have 3 over 2x plus 5. Let's simplify this rational expression by factoring using difference of squares. We have the numerator, 1 minus x, and we have the denominator. It factors as x times x is x squared, and we take the square root of 1, which is just 1, and we write plus and minus, because we have plus 1 times negative 1 is negative 1, and if we FOIL this out, outside and inside they cancel, so there's no middle term for the x. So on the numerator we have 1 minus x, and this is equivalent to negative bracket x minus 1 on top. We just copy down the denominator, and we see that the x minus 1's cancel. Be careful, there's a hidden negative 1 here on top. So the simplified version is negative 1 over x plus 1, which is equivalent to 1 over x plus 1 with a negative sign in the middle.